Hey guys, so I wanted to film a little intro to this vlog uh, because I know it can be a little insensitive to post travel vlog at the moment but I already went and came back and have been in quarantine for a week now um, so it's not happening right now and uh, yeah, I guess I just wanted to still share this vlog because I feel like it's so positive and it's a bit of an escapism from the current negative news. To me, watching back the footage felt like ASMR for my eyes because it's like so full of sunshine. It's such a positive vlog. So I really hope I managed to translate that through the camera to you guys and share a little bit of the beauty of the south of France. It was like almost two weeks ago. Her colleague is Italian and he started getting super worried because they closed the border and we were watching the news and following what's going on and it was just getting worse and worse every single day. So yeah, it's, it almost feels surreal um, that I went to France and there was nothing, no panic, nothing at the airport. But when I came back, it all started. I guess don't take anything for granted. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy watching this little vlog. I love you loads, and let's keep in touch. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It's half past 3 a.m. And yeah, I'm ready for my flight, which is in around two and a half hours. I was on the bus for over three hours and I was asleep so I'm like still not sure <laughs> what's happening. But yeah, I'm gonna go wait for my flight now. It's quite cold. I mean, it's like eight degrees, but it's super sunny, so that's amazing. I'm actually gonna go in the sunshine. Ignore my skin. I'm having bad skin <laughs> at the moment. But yeah, look. This is what I'm here for. Okay, I'll just leave it here. I just stepped out of the train and look at the view. I was like, oops, straight to the. To the sun. Amazing sea view with palm trees look at these agaves it's so quiet in this town and it's full of pensioners and they're all with their dogs I think it's so quiet, peaceful, and beautiful. This is where you want to retire. And people running because it's like perfect for running. It's so scenic and beautiful. Like you can see some two old men running. It's so cute. I'll be doing lots of running. I'm just awestruck with this place. <laughs> I still didn't arrive to Gabriela's apartment, but it's like a few minutes away. I'm just walking really slowly, taking it all in. So I'm gonna go change probably into my running outfit um, and then go buy some breakfast, like baguettes and stuff. People are running with their kids, like a tro um, stroller and uh, their kids. Crazy. Like everyone is running here. I am at Gabriela's already. 
I applied a little bit of makeup, my skin isn't happy at all. I broke out because of flying and you know, when I travel my skin tends to go crazy, always. Um, and I'm standing here in t-shirt because the sun is shi shining so it's, it's chilly but warm because of the sun. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go get changed um, into something comfy and then go get some groceries because I'm actually super hungry now. It's 11 and um, yeah, I, I'm i gonna come back here and make myself some breakfast. I'm not sure how interesting these vlogs will be because I just want to have some holidays. So, you know, vlogging, filming, taking pictures is basically working for me so i'll do my best not to put too much pressure on myself i guess for creating content yeah i'll just you know relax go to the beach go running go biking walk around for the whole week <laughs> um but yeah i'm so happy to be in the sun that's all i wanted and all i needed and um so yeah gabriella is working she will come back in the evening until then i'm all alone uh, so it will be three of us in the apartment um and yeah should be fun i've been walking for like 10 minutes now or so i'm actually going to i believe it's a shopping center and uh, gabriella told me about it she said you'll lose your mind so i don't know what's in there just need some food and look at this building i don't know if it's a um, an apartment complex or hotel? I believe it's an apartment complex. It looks like a cruise ship. <laughs> this sea is so blue, it's baby blue. What can I say so far is that um, if you like action, you would be very bored here because it's so quiet and peaceful and there's nothing to do except for like running, doing some yoga, biking, walking on the beach, relaxing basically. If you want action, restaurants, cafes, um, it's, it's not a place. So, I don't know, let's try and find a supermarket. <laughs> I found a place to buy some food. It's actually massive. Gonna get some pesto and pasta. I have no idea what she is to get. I'm so overwhelmed. Look at the amount of cheeses. You guys know my problem with candy, so I always get flexi seeds, and then I'm choosing between cherries and this lovely mix. And they have some that I've never seen before. These unicorn ones, or these. These colors can be good for you. Guys, I did quite a big food shop. Uh, my baguettes. I actually don't fit in the bag anymore and if I have flour on my face that's because I started eating a baguette but it's really bad actually because it's it's not a baguette from the bakery boulangerie it's just a simple supermarket one didn't see any bakeries around here I'll have to ask Gabriela and I'm back I have no idea why I brought so many clothes here, a full luggage, because I think I'll be living in my sweatpants and my sneakers because it's such a chill, empty town. You just, yeah, you just want to be comfortable and relax. So I have no idea. No one cares about fashion here. This is a really good place, according to Gabriela. Pink lotus. Eat some Asian food. <laughs> is it good?
Qué pedo, Zach. Mmm. Snow. It's like popping in your mouth. Mmm. 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 The music is really relaxing here. Yeah. It's like a uh, massage plate. <laughs> Morning, guys. I'm off for a run. Wearing my Rachnik gymwear and my Zara sneakers. Today is such a gorgeous day. It's super sunny. Yesterday it was raining all day. And today is super nice and sunny, and it's gonna be like this all week. So I'm gonna go run along the coast, go to the beach, and then come back, shower, have some breakfast. <sighs> Cannot even tell you guys. How incredible it is to run here. The sun is shining, the views are insane, music in my ears. Gabriela and I are off to Nice. She's back from work, and I was gonna go to Nice on my own with a train, but she has the car from work, so she was like, let's go together by car. So, yeah, we'll have a road trip together. just parked the car somehow in the underground parking upper ground upper <laughs> and uh, yeah now we're going to visit the city it's super sunny so beautiful look at all the buildings they're all like this here Some of you guys recommended this place for coffee, Malongo. Look at the dog. Amazing. <laughs> Today we are in Gras and it's looking beautiful. Yeah. 
It's like a super cozy restaurant. There are lots of perfume shops here. We just tried some perfumes at Pagona. Here is International Perfume Museum. We are going to visit this one, which is perfume factory, Pagona. Um, yeah, the perfumes are very specific. They're sort of old-fashioned because they're very old perfumeries. Uh, so it's like, wow. So it's like a, a very different scent to the modern perfumes. Maybe that's why we didn't like the scents that much. The only scent I like so far is this. Um, so you can get a little set with a body cream and the notes are rose, jasmine, freesia, uh, cedarwood, patchouli, musk, amber. So it's like a very citrusy, fresh sort of scent, great for summer. Okay, okay. The, cons, the naturals are so complex. But they stay quite well. They stay quite well, so, yeah. Such like beautiful some of them perfumes. more than others, like the awesome Ritz Noir is really long lasting. I can really like this one actually. The pink pepper. Yeah. yeah. This one is my favorite. On your clothing, it will let my even the style of the brand is more modern we're actually yeah. both getting the same perfume pink pepper wood all you can so we're getting the little also gonna get this rose water so she's actually me We just hopped off the train and today we have to climb up there um, to a town called Ez. <laughs> Apparently it's really beautiful, but Jesus! Thank goodness we're wearing sneakers. Guys, look at the views. I mean... <laughs> So hot already and we have quite a bit of a way to go up look at the mountain I'll make it we are finally on the top the soap smells so good we're now going to the exotic gardens Thank you. 
going to the train station and we'll be heading back to Vilna. It's really chilly actually already and the city is pretty quiet because it's Sunday afternoon. So yeah, we'll head home, uh, chill, make some tea and watch Love Island. Oh my god, look at the moon. It's massive. Good morning. Um, today we have no sunshine at all and it says that rain showers will start in about 30 minutes. So I came to the beach for a little run um, and I took this book which I took from the beach book nook sort of thingy where you can sit and take books and read them on the beach if you want or you can take them home. Um, it's a gorgeous photography book with black and white pictures but it's really heavy i thought i'm not gonna bring it back to lithuania um i enjoyed the pictures but now i'm gonna go and put it back for someone else to pick it up and have a little look through the pictures um but yeah there, there aren't many people here someone is doing stretches there um yeah yesterday was incredible such a beautiful sunny day in Ez which is a gorgeous city at the top of a hill we did hiking for two kilometers up the hill and I wasn't prepared for that I thought this was gonna be like some steps up the hill and then you have a beautiful city but it was proper hike um, I think Gabriela knew that she said dress really comfy so I dressed very comfortably but comfortably for visiting a city not hiking so i do recommend wearing sneakers and like gym wear like this if you are planning to go to Ez. oh my god she looks so relaxing i want to do stretches as well um so yeah as was gorgeous i do highly recommend it the scenery is just out of this world tomorrow is gonna be super sunny and the day after tomorrow i'm leaving I was thinking of either going to Monaco, Cannes or Antibes today because it's so gloomy and a little chilly and might rain. I'm not sure if that's good for visiting. Obviously I want to visit as much as possible but I'm gonna come back here in summer so it's like not my last time here. So yeah, let's go put the book back. I saw this movie Papillon with Rami Malek and it's really really good. So they have a book here. Okay, it's full on sunshine now. Just running here along the beach and I don't get it, the weather changed so quickly. Okay, so this is Ville de Cagnes sur la Mer, which is another little town. They're actually more like beach villages than towns because they're so small. <laughs> Sorry, I'm super out of breath. Okay, you can see from here, this is where I came from, like all the way here. Wow, the storm is really coming. Oh my god, I came back home right on time. 
<laughs> Morning guys. Well, it's sort of midday already. I woke up super early today, had a relaxing breakfast, got ready. Um, I just sprayed this rose water I got from Thousand Flowers because my skin is extremely dry at the moment and it's it's never been this dry so I don't know, maybe I don't drink enough water or something. Um, but yeah, I did my makeup really glowy as always and I'm gonna head to Monaco on my own today. It's gonna take an hour by train so yeah should be nice i was very skeptical i didn't want to go to monaco because i don't know just i guess it's not really my vibe but gabriella said it's a really beautiful place you definitely have to visit especially now that i'm here and um so yeah i decided to go it's a gorgeous sunny day yesterday it was raining so i didn't want to go anywhere but today i'm gonna go to monaco and i follow this instagrammer yanni deller I think her name is she's a swedish girl and she lives in monaco and uh, i looked up um her pictures on instagram from monaco and she um mentioned this new place like a brunch spot in monaco it's called eola i'm definitely gonna go there because they have nice acai bowls and coffee and whatnot like the food looks incredible avocado toast so yeah, I'm all dressed up, wearing the exact same outfit, all black, leather pants, black top, black jacket. Might be too hot, but in the evenings it gets really chilly. As soon as the sun sets, it's so cold here, like so, so cold, yeah. I'm just gonna bathe myself in this. Um, okay, I'll take you guys along. Heading towards the casino now, but look at the architecture in Monaco. Wow! I think here is the back side of the casino because they're renovating the front area. I'll show you guys the back. The architecture here is mind-blowing i don't even know where to go um just walking around uh, yeah i think monte carlo is pretty small so i should be able to see it in i don't know a couple hours i guess so apparently this is the theater of princess grace grace kelly that is Looks like a nice place. They have Buddha bowls and bruschettas and salads and whatnot. But I'm actually going to Eola, which is just around the corner, is behind this building. I'm very tempted to get a tote bag because I always use them for groceries and yeah, they're very cute. And of course, I am an old lady and I collect magnets from my trips and um, yeah, I think I have to bring one for my parents as well. I finally found this place called Eola. I was looking around, couldn't find it. So it's right here if you come to Monaco. The food looks amazing. This is my Pink Panther avocado toast, Buddha bowl with tofu, lots of veggies. And then this is my cappuccino, super cute. 
This is actually one of my favorite emojis ever. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got seaweed, which I love, tofu, quinoa. So guys, I'm at the train station in Monte Carlo, which is so beautiful. I mean, look at all those lights. Um, so I'm gonna head back to Villeneuve. I had a really good time in uh, Monaco. Actually, I don't know why I was so skeptical in the first place because it left um, a very good impression on me and I really enjoyed solo traveling. I mean, visiting the city on my own. So, yeah. I spent the whole day here and I loved it. I would come back. It's really clean, beautiful, lots of parks, lots of, I mean, you have the sea, you have the parks, you have the city life, you have everything in here. Um, should be here very soon. It's actually easy to navigate. Back to Villeneuve. Um, the sun has already set. I'm not sure if I'll vlog tomorrow, probably not. I have to be at the airport at um, 6 in the morning, so yeah. I'm gonna be way too early to vlog. It's the last time I'm seeing this for now. Well, I'll probably be back in summer. Kinda sad to leave, kinda miss home already. <laughs> Mixed feelings.